All right, hello and welcome to Delaware Auto Sales today. My name is Nathan. We're going to look at this beautiful Jeep. Pardon my shadow on it, but I wanted to start right here so you could see the color in the sun, see the paint in the sun. That's a 2018 Grand Cherokee Trailhawk Edition. Low miles, 33-ish, right about 33,000 miles. Look at the pretty, pretty color on this. It's like really rich and deep, exactly as the name suggests. Deep, or I'm sorry, velvet red pearl. It should be called deep velvet. It looks like it reminds me of red velvet cake. <laughs> um, really, really nice. Great mileage, four wheel drive, 3.6 liter Pentastar, six cylinder engine. Um, really well equipped factory dvd entertainment and a whole bunch of other stuff i'm just going to go around a couple times here and i'm going to back it up in the shade because it'll be easier to look at in the shade but i wanted everyone to be able to see the color in the sun here led lights uh, they may appear like they're flashing or blinking on the video they are not it's just they refresh so fast that it tricks the camera black uh, decal here on the hood really cool so Clean Carfax on this Jeep, only two owners, um, serviced, really, really great Goodyear tires on it. Here's our website and phone number if you're interested to take a look at all of the spill photography and check it out further on our website. Go to that site and check us out. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and back it up here in the shade. Uh, we have serviced it. I'm going to talk about that next and then it'll be a whole lot easier to look at uh this interior in the shade so here we go <clears throat> so service work um we replaced the regular uh engine battery with a brand new interstate battery we also replaced the auxiliary batteries this has a couple of auxiliary batteries because it has the start stop feature where it turns off at a light and those smaller batteries keep everything powered up and running. Um, so all of the batteries are new. The main engine battery plus the auxiliary batteries. We replaced the air filter, the engine air filter, and the cabin air filters. Um, we replaced the brakes, front and rear brake pads and rotors. Um, we also replaced the wiper blades. You can see the new brakes there. Um, <laughs> someone commented on one of my recent videos I don't remember what car, I just remember it was recent about, oh, those are new brakes, but they've got rust, folks. You can go look at brand new cars on car, any brand new car dealership lot, and they're going to have a little bit of rust ridge around the outside edges where the brake pad does not hit the rotor, and the hats of the rotor, which is this part right here, the, the inside lip is going to rust. It will rust. It is going to rust. They all rust. It's metal. So anyway, that's what happens. They're still brand new. <clears throat> uh, tires have 8.30 seconds, as I mentioned, lots of tread on these tires. 8.30 seconds on these Goodyear Wrangler uh, with Kevlar tires. Kevlar reinforced. There's the size upside down, 265, 60, 18. All of the wheels are in great shape. Take a look at all the wheels. Oh, there's the other new brakes, but a little bit of rust. Uh, so it's even tread wear on the tires. Uh, 830 seconds, new brakes and rotors. Did I say new wiper blades? New wiper blades as well, in case I didn't say that. <clears throat> the color is really quite nice, even in the shade also, but look how much darker it appears in the shade. It almost looks like a dark uh, black cherry in the shade. It's kind of interesting how it changes depending on the light. And there's that wheel. Sorry, let me zoom out. All the wheels are in great shape. They don't have any curb rash or any marks on them. Um, it has two original keys as well. <clears throat> Body is very clean, very nice.
has a touch sensor access. That's what the button is right here. Um, really like the uh, Grand Cherokee letters outlined in red also, which normally stands out even more so on something that's not red, but of course with this being red, um, also take a look at the roof here. There's the roof. I can't quite see what I'm doing because the sun is blinding me. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at inside and also going to look at the window sticker. Power folding mirrors. There are so many features on this Jeep. I can't even begin to tell you. Bottoms of the doors, very clean. Uh, it has the real nice rubber fitted factory snap-in Grand Cherokee stamped floor mats. Yes. Driver's side seat. This is Napa leather, according to the original window sticker. It is very nice. It's very soft. The perforated is really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> there's panoramic sunroof on the inside. All right, let's uh, sit down here and go through. Let's look at the window sticker and then we'll look at all of the features and functions and buttons, okay? Uh, this is one of the keys. It has factory remote start as well. That's what the times two is right here. This is one of, it has two of these. So two keys, two keys. Um, <clears throat> this is a reprint of the original window sticker. Optional equipment, uh, velvet red pearl. Apparently it was a small upcharge for the color. Uh, Trailhawk luxury group with the Napa seats we just talked about. LED fog lamps, power, ste power telescopic steering, ugh, the steering column, uh, rain sensing wipers, bind design on lights, blah, blah, blah. Rear DVD entertainment, we're gonna look at that. <clears throat> it's uh, Blu-ray compatible, which is pretty cool. Um, active safety group, lane departure, parallel and perpendicular parking, uh, advanced braking, adaptive cruise with stop, blind spot monitoring, rear cross path, detection i mean you can basically just push the gas and the car will just keep you from hitting things just kidding but that's about how it feels when you read all of that uh there's kind of the basics over here and then some standard equipment stuff over here so there is that so um this is your four-wheel drive and kind of terrain selection uh area suspension you can raise it or lower it depending on what you're doing and how you're driving. When you get up to about 70 miles an hour when you're driving this, there's a message that'll come up here on the screen that will say um, <clears throat> aerodynamic ride height achieved or something because it, it lowers itself to get better aerodynamics and fuel economy. There's the exact mileage, 33237 at this moment. Um, inside the console here, here is the Blu-ray disc player. I have a non-Blu-ray disc in there, but I will show you when we get in the back seat, these super cool uh, DVD players back here, as soon as we get in the back seat, okay? Um, so many buttons and controls. Uh, let's just quickly, radio, <clears throat> XM, radio, right there, media, Bluetooth audio, aux, USB, USB 1, USB 2, there's so many USBs in this car, you could, you could have all kinds of stuff plugged in audio video hdmi <laughs> it's insane um and speaking of yeah so on the sides of the seats right here there's av and hdmi input okay so all right moving on uh climate climate control heated and cooled seats uh, we'll see in more detail here in a moment apps all this business all this business last page rear media you can actually watch the movie uh right here when you're parked see look at that super cool power rangers heck yeah power rangers um so you can control and and watch listen you know whatever i'm gonna go ahead and uh i think that'll do it uh, maybe yeah anyway We'll just leave it like that. So <clears throat> there's that. Uh, we can exit out of here and go back to here. Um, there are headphones. There is a remote control. It's in the very back. It's never even been used. I will show it to you when we get in the rear. 
Um, in the controls menu, you can quickly click the backup camera to put it in camera mode, even with the car in park. And then you can X out of that. Um, heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, of course, heated and cooled seat on that side. Not a heated steering wheel because there's no heating, there's no steering wheel on that side. <laughs> um, navigation, map, everything is real fast and responsive in this, which is really nice. Bluetooth phone, would you like to connect a phone? No, thank you, not right now. Um, very, very quick. You can see what, how, I mean, I'm clicking and trying to video at the same time, but the screen is very fast response. Um, of course, when you put it in reverse, uh, the camera comes up like it should. Some other controls here for the audio and climate and all that sort of thing. Um, this is your lane sense off or on. It will tell you up here. This is your parking park sense on or off, right? When you put it in reverse, it will come up and say park sense rear braking assist is on and then in a moment that will dis that will disappear and then you've got these lines right so as you get close to objects this will illuminate so very like i said you can't you really can't screw up okay um parking I, I clicked on this button and it tells us shift to drive to use active park sense so now if i put it in drive and i hit the button it's searching for a parallel or perpendicular parking spot because this thing will park itself. I haven't tried it and no, I'm not going to demo it on this video, but just know that it has it and uh, good luck. Push button start. <clears throat> uh, really nice and thick leather wrap steering wheel with red stitching to complement the Trailhawk logo. Very beautiful. Steering wheel controls galore and this steering wheel is in beautiful condition. This LED digital sort of dash, um, you can click here to see a digital speedometer like that, or just the speed digitally, like a big fat number, which is kind of cool. Um, so menu stuff, messages, Bluetooth. I mean, this thing might as well be a computer. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot of buttons and a lot of features. There's the driver assist. You can leave it on that menu, the terrain, terrain menu, tire pressures, back to here. I kind of like this display, more traditional. Um, here's the cruise, the adaptive cruise. When you turn it on, it says ACC ready, adaptive cruise control ready. And then this will space you between the cars in front of you, which, and then I just turned it back off, which is really cool. Um, blind spot monitor, honestly, I haven't figured out how to turn it off or on, but it has it and it works because I've driven this Jeep and it eliminates these yellow triangles right here in the mirror when you, somebody's in the blind spot. <clears throat> um, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel right there, all four directions, nice and easy. Automatic headlights, okay. All right, let's move on a little bit. Memory seat, if I didn't already say that, power folding mirrors, I think I already said that. See, there's so much stuff I can't even remember what I've said and what I haven't said. Power seat, lumbar. Um, let's come back. I don't think whoever bought this new um, had children because I don't think the DVDs have ever been used unless they just played it through the car. This back seat is spotless. There is no wear, there, is, there aren't any crumbs or crayons melted in here. Um, look how clean the cup holders are. I truly don't think that someone actually had children. They might have just bought the DVDs because they wanted them, I don't know. Uh, this mat back here is awesome. It covers the entire rear floor if you do have children. Jeep logo in the middle, kind of cool. Um, heated rear seats right here. And then two USBs, oh, that reminds me. Hold on, we gotta go back to the front. Two more USBs back here and a power outlet. <laughs> like I said, you could plug in so you could probably plug in your Christmas lights in this car and it'd run your whole house. Um, USB plug, heated seats. Here's the HDMI and the audio video on both sides. And then here's these super, super fantastic uh, screens back here. They're really big and they're really nice. And it's uh, what we like to call a built-in babysitter, right? They, they close easily, they open easily, Jeep, you connect, 
Same thing on both sides. Obviously they're watching the same thing because there's only one player, but really nice quality screens and really easy to close, to open and close. Nice and well built, nothing easily to break unless your kid is a monster. Um, so very nice. Uh, backs of the seats are in great shape as well. Um, let me go back to the front for a second because I forgot something on the front. Like I said, there's so much stuff on this car. But in this little secret compartment, two more USBs. That's what it was talking about up here on the screen when it said USB one and two. There's an aux input and then two, two USBs in there, the two USBs in the back, the two HDMIs. I mean, what's next? Power lift gate, <clears throat> factory trailer hitch. Forgot to say that in the first walk around, but there you go. Uh, power tailgate opening and closing. This is the button to close it. It's super nice back here. Nothing has hurt the plastic back here. It's all clean and nice. Cargo shade is here. And something else to plug into, another power outlet in the back. Um, there you go, cargo shade, nice. There's a view of those screens from back here. You can see how big they are. Uh, this carpet is perfect. There's a speaker back here, full size spare with some storage down around it. All the tools that look like they've never been used. Um, it still smells like a new tire, so definitely hasn't been used. And then back here, they hid this stuff back here. Two headphones in the plastic, never been used. They say you connect right on them. And then the remote control, never been used. So there's that stuff. Keep it back here so it's like new for the next owner. Um, tailgate plastic here is nice. So much, so much stuff. There goes the power tailgate. Um, forgot to show that uh, I just lifted the lever and the seats fold down nice and flat headrest tucks same thing on that side very easy creates this nice flat load floor for when you go Black Friday shopping and you buy that giant television that you can't fit barely in the car yep um, super nice super clean all the way there we go yeah, and when these are down, you know, it almost looks like part of the seat. It really doesn't, it doesn't take up any extra room or anything, you know, just very easy. Um, so, very nice. <clears throat> Let's see, I already said it has a couple of keys. Owner's manuals are in here underneath that super cool three DVD power pack, power ranger. Heck yeah. Passenger side seat, really nice. And there's the final rubber mat with the Grand Cherokee stamping in the rubber. Those mats are really nice. I mean, I, I think WeatherTech mats are really beautiful, but these definitely give them a run for the money. I mean, look how high the side is on that. I, I then they fit so nicely. They're the genuine, genuine real deal there, so. All right, um, oh, still got the mirrors folded. <laughs> uh, let's take a look under the hood. I've seen the inside, the outside. I think I've shown and told you everything I wanted to on the features. Almost forgot those secret hiding USBs and uh, 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 aux input. Love the look of the front with the dark grill and the LED lights and the red tow hooks. This is the eye, in case you're wondering, this is the eye that looks out front. The little Cyclops to watch for uh, forward collision and the uh, distance pacing cruise control, the ACC adaptive cruise control. I like to say distance pacing because it is keeping pace with the car in front of you per your desired spacing. This Jeep drives fantastic. Um, it literally is as nice as new. 
It's so much different than older Jeeps. I owned an older Grand Cherokee in my day and very different than one of those too. Those don't ride near as nice. Um, but this is like, this is like a luxury SUV by comparison to the older, older stuff that didn't ride or drive or handle like this does. This is nothing but smooth and quiet and refined and luxurious. Um, very different. Very nice. that down take another look around here in the shade thanks for watching and listening to me rant about this Jeep Jeeps are kind of like Porsches in a way at least this Grand Cherokee it really hasn't changed its shape or structure or style in quite some time it's very identifiable as to being a Jeep at least I think look at the dual exhaust Really cool. Black cherry color now that it's in the shade. Please reach out to us with uh, any questions or if you'd like to talk more about it. If there's anything that I've missed on this video that you'd like to see more of, please ask and we shall provide to you. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining and make it a great day. Bye-bye.